today, by the way, I have an hour and a half until I have to do the moist stream. So it's like, I'm in Hell's Kitchen right now. I don't know. The, pre the pressure's on, really. It says it's going to take 40 minutes. I feel like I have a nice buffer. It's still going to take but 40 minutes. I'm a little slow, so I, I probably got to speed that up a little bit. But today, what we're cooking is called Marry Me Chicken. And this is the gist of it. It pans to like a TikTok. Someone's cooking the chicken and it's like, hey, if you want your man to drop down on one knee and say, Baby, will you marry me? This is the chicken for you. You make your man this chicken, he's gonna drop down and propose on the spot. And so that's basically the gist of it. And so I found it and it looks pretty good. And I also was thinking about a side. So I did, I've never made, well, I've made it, but it was shit. So I figured I might as well give it another go. So I, I got a uh, crispy Brussels sprouts, which I'm gonna air fry them because I didn't air fry them last time. I used the oven last time. So we gotta like cut them, prep them. And I think that's actually where I'm gonna start, is I'm gonna cut those bad boys in half. Oh, oh, first and foremost, usually what most people would do is wash their hands first, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be a good stream. One shot of vodka. And then this is uh, ginger beer. I've never had this one. So I don't know if it's gonna taste like garbage. It very well might. Cheers, Cheers my, my friends. friends. That's not bad. Am I streaming Rocket League today? Buddy, does it look like I'm streaming Rocket League today? Are you kidding me? What do you think? One of the most important things about the Brussels sprouts that it said was that you picked evenly sized sprouts. Like this one's too small. These are fine. It also said a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts. But I was like, bro, I need a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts, you know? The question, you know, I should probably actually look at the recipe. But... You would just assume you cut them in half, right? Anyway, we're gonna give these bad boys a, a, a rinse. You said you just got stiff, that's awesome. So we started with a pound of Brussels sprouts and I think we ended up with about 2.3 ounces. That's what it's starting to feel like. Look, there's nothing, nothing's gonna kill you from eating a little dirt, okay? Think about it. How many kids you know ate dirt? Um, all of them, I was one. Oh, the recipe's called CJ Eats. No freaking way. We got Australian Brussels sprouts. Once the Brussels sprouts are clean in half, place them in a large mixing bowl. Hey, I've done that already. And combine half my olive oil along with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and honey. One fourth cup of olive oil, all right. Wait, I just realized we we're having the recipe. <laughs> and I pour this back in, I just... Okay, um, okay, perfect. It says half a cup of olive oil divided in half. So basically we use a bit of this now. Sure, why not? Give that a good old guzzle. Oh my God, I'm not gonna finish in time, bro. It's been 30 minutes. No, the Brussels sprouts are finished, bro. All right, that's gonna preheat for about one hour and then we'll start cooking. <laughs> In a large oven-proof skillet over medium heat, one tablespoon of olive oil. Now, I think I'm just gonna guesstimate this one because measuring is cringe. No. One, table, one tablespoon is fine. You just go glug and then it's good. So I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. oh. That's about one. Generally seasoned chicken with salt, black pepper, and cooked, turning halfway through until golden brown. About five minutes per side. This chicken is thick, too. I kind of wanted to pound it. Salt, pepper, how hard could that be? Got to pre-crack the pepper here, you know what I'm saying? Actually, it's way too small of a bowl. Now you're going to be... <laughs> Mess. Hold on. Lock into the process. Lock into the process. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. That looks good enough to me. <laughs> oh, I just spilt it. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right camera. Okay, everybody lock in. What do I need to do? I need, I need to season this chicken, so let's just do that. Wait, this is big ass salt. What the fuck? Why did somebody use this? All right, whatever. We don't need we don't need that much black pepper anyway. Athena doesn't like black pepper that much. In the same skillet, me, he, he, garlic, thyme, red pepper flakes. Bro, I should have pre-measured this. Okay, I got these. I don't even know if you're supposed to cut them. I ain't got time for that, to be honest. And who the hell needs time? What is time? <laughs> do I really need this? I mean, let's be real. Do I just like strip it? What the, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Rub that on those breasts, brother. <laughs> okay, let's chill out, Georgie. I don't even think you're talking about the chicken no more. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Hold on, it just breaks. All right, one tablespoon of thyme. Uh, stir in garlic. Oh my God, garlic. It says finely chopped. Holy fuck, my pan is, hold on, it's hot. Okay, well to be fair, I gotta do these five minutes on each side. Uh, this pan is hot as shit. So I don't know if I'm about to... <laughs> you guys like char by chance? Because <laughs> this pan is... Uh... You're about to hear the sizzle. I'll tell you what. So Okay, so it's 5, 12, 5 minutes on each side. Here we go, fellas. 
Damn! Somebody keep an eye on my chicken. If it uh, catches on fire, let me know. It's on fire. Don't don't lie to me, bro. That was scary. I actually looked. Okay, this says finely chopped garlic. Now, I could do that, but I also have minced garlic from a jar that I'm going to use. Now, I did get garlic specifically for this, but we're in a pickle and I need to use it, so we're using it. Two cloves. How much is two cloves of garlic finely chopped? One teaspoon is about one clove of garlic. There you go. Two more tablespoons of oil, garlic, thyme, red pepper. So it also says, oh, tomatoes. I have never seen these in my life before, but that's how we're doing this. Oh, you're kidding. Get out of there. I don't even like tomatoes. Okay. That looks good to me. Use my finger. No, I'm trying to keep my fingy clean. Chicken's not on fire. That's good. Uh, because I'm about to do something else now. It says stir in broth, tomatoes, Parmesan. No, I have to grate the Parmesan. Tomatoes, cream, 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 cream. Do I shake that? I don't know. I can shake something else. Y'all don't mind it. Okay, we have pre-measured just about everything, which is pretty sick. Uh, I have to grate the Parmesan. And I don't know if there's a better way to do this. Uh, we have one more minute on that side for the chicken. But from what I've discovered, grating on a paper plate is usually OP. Bro, flip the chicken? It said five minutes. It hasn't been five minutes yet. What if this shit's charred? Look at that chicken. Now, I am left-handed, but I don't think I need to use that. Here we go. You ready? Take a peek at this chicken. You ready? I mean, that's not bad. That's not even golden brown, though. It's actually, I don't even think my pan was hot enough, which is crazy to say. That looks good. That looks fine. Because it's also going to cook in the oven even more. It does say finely grate, but I'm good. I'll pass. Oh my god, it's so easy to grate Parmesan. Holy shit. What do you mean it's Jover? What did I do? Assembly stream. Bro, I am stressed to fuck. What are you talking about? You don't need to measure that. What you're grating is about one fourth cup. Shit, say less. Don't worry, you got 42 minutes. Good, 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 good. Did say to take the chicken off the heat. So we're gonna put the chicken on that, I guess. Five minutes per side. Transfer chicken to a plate in the same skill over medium heat. Heat remaining two tablespoons of oil. Stir in garlic, thyme, red pepper flakes. Cook, stirring until fragrant for about one minute. Stir in the broth, which is tomatoes, cream, and parmesan. Season with salt. Bring to a simmer. Then return chicken and any accumulated juices to the skillet. Transfer skillet to oven. Bake chicken until cooked through. And juices run clear when chicken is pierced with a knife. Arrange chicken on a platter. Okay. Not bad. We're actually almost there. We're almost there. I mean, this is the crazy part, right? This is where the magic happens. Now, I believe the goal of this is to sear the chicken, and the goal of the oven is to bake it to perfection, because that shit is raw in the middle. <laughs> but we still have 10 to 12 minutes of cooking in the oven, so I believe we should be good. And make sure you always heat your chicken up to 135 degrees. I'm kidding. <laughs> 165, 165. I kind of want to cook it more. It doesn't look like it has that that crisp to it. You know what I mean? Like, what is that? That's weak. Can I give it a sec? Nah, it's gonna go in the oven though. This one, this one looks like fish somehow. It's yours, bro. Cook it how you want. True. Good point, actually. Okay, so we're gonna transfer the the meat to a plate. Oh my god, this is a small ass plate. Why did I do this? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stack it. <laughs> And then it said some shit about doing something. And uh, in the same skill, we get two tablespoons of olive oil. Where's my oil? So we're gonna put this in, and then we're going to go like this. There's one. Damn, 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 damn! Chill! Two. And then what was it? Something about time? What is time? Is that a minute or until fragrant? Anybody smelling this? Uh, Genesis. Oh, I smell that now. Hold on. Stir in thyme, red pepper, cook until fragrant. Stir in broth, tomatoes. Okay. Cream. Cream. Probably shouldn't have added the cream first now that I'm thinking about it. Yo, chill! This looks like- Oh, shit! There it is, there it is. I, I was gonna say, I shouldn't have added the cream first. That was a bad idea. Damn, damn! Okay, now we gotta get all the goodies off the bottom. Like the charred chicken, the juices, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Now that's looking good. Now it's looking good. Look at that, huh? I mean, we were scared for a second, were we? Or were we not? But now... We got something. What am I supposed to be doing here? Stir, broth, and... Oh, shit, Parmesan. Uh, does this look like one-fourth cup to you guys? Because that looks like a little bit more to me. But we'll just do... About that. Bring to a simmer and then return chicken. Okay. So let's let... Oh, I mean, it's already simmering. So chicken's going back in. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Come on now. Yep. I did add the oil from the jar. Bring to a simmer, accumulate juices, transfer skillet to oven, bake chicken until cooked through. All right, there we go. We got it. 
Let's uh, let's send this bad boy to town. Here we go, fellas. Hey, we did it, huh? Come on now. Okay, it's on 375. Get this bad boy in there. Don't look at my ass, dude. Imagine my mic just fell in the oven. That'd be so sad. Um, now I did have Brussels sprouts, by the way, and I think I'm just gonna wing this, to be honest, because why not? How much time we got? We got 30 minutes. This says half a. <coughs> Holy fuck! There's some. There's some in the air here. We gotta keep that fan on. It says a tablespoon of honey, garlic powder. It says half a teaspoon. That's actually not that much. Half a tablespoon of salt. Half a tablespoon. All right. Looking good to me. Somebody said more salt. Want some more garlic powder? I mean, it's not like I've royally fucked this up, surely, right? It says one tablespoon of honey, but I think I'm doing a half recipe, right? That's what I said. Now, this did say 10 to 12 minutes, but I did not keep track of when I put it in the oven. So does anybody know how long that thing's been in there? I would have guessed three minutes. So I'd say we probably got about eight minutes left. Now, I will say you're scared to eat what I made. Yeah, get the pizza coming. I think I said 450. This only goes up to 400. <laughs> this is news to me. So yeah, 15 minutes, sure. Whoa, 25 to 30 minutes at 450. I ain't even eating those. Holy shit. All right, well, I guess I'll just have chicken tonight. God damn. It says 30. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it ping me. Holy gamer. Like 15 minutes in. And how long has that chicken been in there? Oh, yeah, she's purring. All right, what do we got? 123, 33, 40, 50, 55, 60, 5. That is good. Rawr, big chicken. Oof! I should have seared them longer, or seared them hotter. But they are cooked. They are, they are at a perfect uh, 135, like I said. You only need to cook chicken to 135. That's uh, that's what I've learned. Yeah, I guess I just fucking eat it now, huh? I mean, I got 15 minutes. All right, we gotta do, it's not even, the thing that annoys me is it's not even um, crispy. Here's the final reveal chat. I think it's perfect. Oh! Come on now, fellas. Wait, I'm not even on camera. Ooh, there it is, ooh. Yup, yeah, it's nice and juicy, so tender. Ah, let's go. All right. Three, two, one. Say it. I'm not saying nothing, you tell me. It doesn't taste like anything. It's just, it's just chicken. He said, I know that shit is ass. Bro, wh what's the point of the whole recipe if it doesn't even taste like it? Man, are you serious? Wait, my sprouts. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> the sprouts are really good. Oh, 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 oh. You saw how hard I worked, right? You saw me out there? I was out there <laughs> grinding the, the Parmesan. But it actually just tasted like I made like unseasoned chicken. Yeah, that's gonna be about it, chat. Uh, I'm just gonna eat my flavorless chicken and sprouts. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be live in about five minutes <laughs> on my PC.